The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water. He turneth it whithersoever he will. Proverbs 21, 1. Kings and rulers may think they are powerful, but they are but pawns in the hands of the Lord. He used the most powerful Nebuchadnezzar to bring judgment on the children of Israel and then puts him in the pasture for seven years to learn humility and that God was really in control. He manipulates them the same as the farmer diverts the can canals of water for irrigation. The scene is given as they would use their foot to push aside the soil that water may run a different path. Deuteronomy 11.10 For the land, whither thou goest in to possess it, is not as the land of Egypt, from whence ye came out, where thou sowest thy seed, and waterest it with thy foot, as a garden of herbs. We should never fear a ruler, for he is in the hand of the Lord, for good and for evil or judgment. Psalm 105, 14 and 15. He suffereth no man to do them wrong. Yea, he proved kings for their sake, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. We are in subjection to them. Romans 13. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive of themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must needs be subject not only for wrath, but also for conscience' sake. For for this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are God's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Render therefore to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. The only time this subjection is to be ignored is when we are commanded to do something we know is against God's word and will. Acts chapter 5 verse 27 speaks of this. It says, And when they had brought them, they set them before the council, and the high priest asked them, saying, Did not we straightly command you, ye should not teach in this name? And behold, you filled Jerusalem with your doctrine, and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than man. Our chief responsibility is to pray confidently for all that are in authority. First Timothy 2 says, I exhort therefore that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and honesty. Remember that when God inspired Paul to write this, Christians were under the persecution hand of Nero. Acts 